Welcome viewers, welcome to our Glory Cook TV. A Pulkit Arora's Anu Grief of Morning find a channel of release through the one fed. In matter of 13 minutes, this intelligent short film details the action within the periphery of one hotel room in New Zealand, where middle-aged woman named Anu deals with the passing away of her husband. We know only this much, and that's enough. There's also another key detail. She is in quarantine. The world might be in complete shutdown, but... What about the grief? She does not know the answers to shut down the grief. The subject of isolation, physical and mental, becomes a compelling reminder of human resistance in Anu, which released on MUBI India. The small hotel compartment where the first arrived seems early morning. She has her welcome note, a bed, as well as a table of chair beside the glass window through brief voice messages. We are informed about the details of the ceremony that is imminent in few days. But things does not evolve according to plan and Anu has coped with the loss without any to share. What is immediately striking about Aurora Spring is that empathies on movements of silence as we do not see Anu express her grief as much as she discovers it herself. The constant emerges through the stripped backed setting, the minimal use of dialogue and the compartmentalization of the frames. In DOP, Adam Luxton's lens, the apartment itself is a sum of parts of Anu, where she tries to make sense of her days with orchestrated tasks, like solving a crossword puzzle, sitting down the bed late and operating to a door receives packaged food from outside. Where is her perspective in the scenes? Perhaps it exists as a blur where this rudimentary task begins to make some shapes to her shapelessness, prose sense of grief, where Anu does try to take some agency and bringing sense of the closure to his untrained period of mourning, it results in a security concern. The pin done ritual with Anu persists in executing her own lends to morbid sense of humor to the narrative when it does not go to according to the plan again. Aroda does well in the next scene by fixing a gaze strictly on Anu. Sitting by corner of her room, the world's gaze is enough to express that this ritual does not have to make sense to anyone else except her. It is her only way to expressing grief in sense of loss that provides her with purpose with intention. Anu does not know how to make the sense of either. Perhaps she will in some time. Can we as society even outgrow its catastrophic impact? We report Glory Globe TV.